Want to have a little bit of a talk today? Uh, you know, I go riding with a uh, uh, with Jeff a bunch, and uh, I guess over the last few years, I've seen this complete tool bag product here uh, in various states of evolution. Uh, and Jeff just nothing away at it, you know, developing the thing and getting input from people over the summer years. So I just sort of thought, yeah. you know, look, I've seen you, you've put a, uh, a video, like 11 or 12 minutes going through each of the tools, but I just sort of thought maybe it'd be interesting, Jeff, to give us a bit of, you know, the background of being a process yeah. where you get, you know, uh, a product like this, which I understand is now become one of MX Tools best sellers, you know, since it's, released it's a few one months of them, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just had the process, mate. Um, yeah, well, you know, as you've just said, you know, um, I talk to a lot of people to get confidence about different things, and same at MX. Um, so, yeah, it's been a couple of years, I'd say, from when we first thought, hey, is this a good idea? Didn't really know, just thought, yeah, I suppose. And I've always had a bag like that, you know. Um, but then, you know, I go, yeah, okay, I use them, and, but, but I'm always frustrated that there's not the right compartment. So I guess it kind of went from there. Um, to then really analysing what we felt should go in it. You know, obviously you're trying to build something that's going to suit a broad range of people. It doesn't have to be just what, what we do in the dirt bike exactly, but it's a, it's a very handy thing for, you know, anything really. Like, it's, uh, it's got a lot of tools in it which fit in their spot. So that was finding that, finding that balance and everything and making it affordable was a pretty big uh, challenge. and. A lot of fun, you know, got it together in the end. Yeah, and look, at talking about affordable, I think the whole thing, bag included, $350. If you add up every all the components, it's more like $570. So it's something like that, yeah. From yep. a pricing point of view, that's pretty compelling. Yeah, and you know, at, at first we were wondering, you know, are, are people going to want this? But then we went through something where guys have a really good toolbox at home, and so they're going, I've already got tools, but then... You know, when they go away, like I used to, you'd pack stuff in and you'd go, you'd disturb your bag. So, you know, that was something with, yeah. So your toolbox at home, you mean? Yeah, yeah, sorry, your toolbox at home. So, and then you come back, you have to put it back and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was going, well, that happens to me. And I talked to other friends and they go, yeah, that's true. Um, but it's weird. It's like now that I've got it and I live with the thing now, it doesn't leave my side. It's oh, always no. just in my van. Just... It's everywhere. Yeah. Um, you... you it's funny. It's it's better than I thought it was going to be because you 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 learn where everything is, and if you put stuff in the let's say the right spot, and then you just you're using one or two spanners or whatever, you put them back in that spot. You learn to rely on that, and then you you know it becomes this handier thing than I uh, imagined because I just I just grab it and put it near my bike. You know, even if I've even if I've got the workshop, I usually have it in my workshop as well, just because it's right there. You know, yeah. and you go straight to it. You don't go oh, which drawer or whatever, and you have to walk a lot more. So it's a handy thing. It's 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 kind of all the tools you you need and none of the tools you don't basically. Pretty much, yeah. We, you know, we weren't going to supply you know 15s and 16s, which you get in some of those things. Mm. Um, yeah, we pretty much studied what you need in the. Euro bikes are using a lot of the torque stuff, so we went okay. You know, obviously there's going to be something here and there that you're going to miss, and we we know that. But where do you stop? You know, so mm -hmm. but it's extensive, and we believe it caters for so many bikes that it's uh, it's probably part of its success. Is you, you you know you can like I've added some stuff, of course, because I'm a bit of a crazy man like that. So you know I I, I just have it so that if uh, you know from brake pads and sprockets to just knickknacks and spare bolts and everyone has their own little things they want to add you know but but there's a very good base you know yeah and I think I uh, was watching your video you said uh, be that guy <laughs> be that guy who's got everything right it's oh, like, oh, probably yeah. yeah 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 probably that um, so you're yeah. saying you're adding stuff to it anything uh, you want to say in hindsight you've overlooked? I mean, you can always add it to it. No, not really, not really. I mean, plenty of people have stirred me about not having a um, spoke spanner. A spoke spanner, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. That and was Mike Sleater, your own uh, work colleague. Yeah, he's, he's not the only one. Other people have said that too. But you know, um, you know, Yamahas, for instance, they come with a spoke spanner. I got so many of those, you know. And then and and we're trying to keep it at a certain level, and then people. You know, we're not just dealing with late model bikes with a, with the large spoke nipples. So, yeah. you know, there's guys with old older XRs and vintage bikes or whatever, and there's so many different ones. And you can get multi ones, but a lot of people have a spoke spanner or two, and you know, you can chuck it in. So, yeah, we're not saying it's absolutely like you know, I've got tie wire pliers, 
and I've got a sag, you know, because I'm always checking the sag, and I've got to I put a pump in there. You know, there's a few things you're going to add here and there, um, but yeah, you know, it's a it's 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 designed to be a a, a, a good base, you know, to yeah. get you get you going. And I, I know it's something that you know you really get off on, like developing product, right? That's what you sort of really yeah, did, I enjoy right? it. Yeah, um, you know, you've been around the game for a long, long time. When you see a product like this and it goes to market and then it's really successful yeah. and it's well priced and people go, man, it's good. Yeah. Is it what is that sort of is that really satisfying? For you? It's is really satisfying. For? It's really satisfying. You know, I go into the customer service girls and say, hey, anything going wrong? You know, I do that. I do that all the time. Just checking. You know, is there anything going wrong? Because you know it's successful, so they're selling. So we're we're working on the next one, and it's not not like it's going to be that different. It's pretty much going to be the same, but. You, you obviously want to know, and it's, mm. you know, it's uh, to to get it competitive. You've got to buy a lot of them, and you've got to put a lot of work into it. So it's a bit scary. It's always scary. It gets less scary as you do it more and more. But you know, there's there's quite an investment from our side as well in getting into it and mm. and you know um, finding the right um, people to make the tools. You know, we we made a certain amount of the tools. You know, they're not just a standard yeah. tool. Um, so yeah, you're investing, but it's like it's fun. It's fun when it is, especially when it's um, successful and and no one's having dramas. So, and and I, and I love the fact that it's handier than I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> right. so that's kind of cool, you know. That's always a good. Uh, yeah. That's always a good element. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You learn to live with it, and then you rely on it, and it's kind of cool, you know. Yeah. Well, speaking of spokespanners, you know what you can tell us, lady? You can say you can go and these guys have these full billet ones, you know, for $250, $300. Yeah. So, you know, you can go and spend $300 on a spokespan. Yeah. I'll spend $350 on a uh, complete... Uh, there's there's computer. a spokespan. I bet, <laughs> I bet I can tighten spokes with that if I'm careful, you know. It's got one. It's just it's just uh, maybe not the best one in the world. but That's good. Yeah. Well, thanks, mate. Thanks for giving us a bit of an insight yeah. into the process. No, it's uh, it's yeah. interesting. Thank you, man.